This video covers the next operator in the series that is bitwise operators. Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha welcome you all to this video. Before we understand the bitwise operators in Java, let's understand the number system because the bitwise operators works on binary numbers. So we need to understand the binary number system. Now before we understand the binary number system, let's revise our decimal number system. We all know that decimal number system has a base of 10. If we want to create single digit number, it is 10 to the power 1. That is, we can create 10 single digit number starting from 0 to 9. If we want to create 2 digit numbers, that is 10 to the power 2, we can create at the max 100, that is 10 into 10, 100 two digit numbers. I can add a 0 and by adding 0, you can see there is no change in these numbers but it becomes two digit number. Now to make the next number 0 to 9 is copied as it is and we just make the 0 as 1, right? So then we can get the next two digit number in the series starting from 10 to 19 then 20 to 30, 20 to 29 and so on it goes. So we all are fam familiar with this decimal number system with the base 10. We also know that if we have any decimal number, it can be represented in the powers of 10. I can say this as 3 into 10 to the power 0 plus 5 into 10 to the power 1 plus 1 into 10 to the power 2 that is 100 plus 50 plus 3 and we get 153. Now since we are aware about this decimal number system, let's see how the binary number system works. Now the binary number system has a base of 2. Right Now because it has a base of 2, I want to create single digit numbers. 2 to the power 0 that means sorry 2 to the power 1 that means I can create at the max 2 numbers that is 0 and 1. Now if you want to create 2 digit binary numbers I can say 2 to the power 2 that is I can create at the max 4 binary 2 digit numbers. Now how can I do that? Same way I can add a 0 and then 0 1 I can write it as it is and then append it by 1. So you can see we got two digit binary numbers. Same way for a three digit number I can add a 0 so this becomes three digit number 2 to the power 3 that means I can create 2 into 2 into 2 that is eight binary numbers. For that again we'll be repeating these four pairs 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and I'll just add a 1. So you can see we get three digit binary numbers. Now let's again represent the binary numbers in the form of this. Let's take this 1 1 1 1 1 1 can be written as 1 into 2 to the power 0 plus this one into 2 to the power 1 plus this one into 2 to the power 2 that is 4 plus 2 plus 1 we get 7. So 1 1 1 represents 7 of the decimal number. 1 0 1 represents 5 of the decimal number system. So I can say this is at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. In a nutshell, this is how the binary number system works. So with this, let's understand how Java behaves with the bitwise operators. Now to understand Java bitwise operators, we have AND, OR and XOR. Remember the logical operators truth table, same truth table we can have for the bitwise operators. We have an expression A, we have an expression B 
the AND operator OR and the X OR. Now binary is all about zeros and ones. So I can say when the value of A is 0 and the value of B is 0, value of A can be 0, value of B can be 1, value of A can be 1, B 0 and 1 1. Now the same rules follows and is 0 if any one bit is 0 and it is 1 if both the bits are 1 or is 1 if any of the bit is 1 and it is 0 if both the bits are 0. Same way the XOR, <coughs> same way the XOR, now the XOR how it works is it works for inverted bits means if I have two bits of same value, the output for the XOR is 0. But if I have inverted bits, that means 1 is 0 and 1 is 1, only then the output remains 1. Now remember this truth table for us to be able to understand how these operators works in Java. Now I have created the same truth table over here. Follow this truth table and let's see. Suppose I have numbers 5 and 2. Now remember logical operators works on boolean values returns boolean values. Bitwise operators depending on so you would you would say that AND and OR are same for logical and bitwise. It all depends on the input values that you are giving. If I am giving two numbers, they are not boolean expressions or boolean values. Java understands this ampersand to be interpreted as a bitwise AND. Now how it does? We understood the binary number system. Remember 5 in binary is written as 101. Two in binary is written as 0, 1, 0. Now if we need to apply the AND operator, remember the truth table. If any one bit is 0, the output is 0 for the AND operator. On the same values, if I want to apply the OR operator, then any bit is 1, the output is 1, we get 7. Here we get 0. And if I say 5x or 2, that is 101 and 0, 1, 0, inverted bits is 1, we get the output as 7. So, this is how the bitwise operators in Java works. Let's go ahead and see in practical. So, I have a class created over here with the main method. So, we will see the demo on the bitwise operators and OR and XOR. So, let's create two variables a is equals to 5 and b is equals to 2. I will say int c and is equals to a and b. Same way, I will be creating two more variables. This will be for OR. This is for XOR. So I'll give this name as CR, this name as CXOR. Let's go ahead and print and see the output. Let's compile and let's execute. So if you remember 5 and 2, 5 and 2 gives 0, 5 or 2 gives 7, 5 X or 2 also gives 7. You can try out the same by providing different values in A and B and you can calculate as you've already learned the binary number system and how the binary is converted to decimal and vice versa. The link for the assignment on bitwise operators is provided in the description. Do not forget to test yourself if you have understood the concept on bitwise operators. With this, we come to an end of this video. Happy learning, take care and bye-bye.